Hello, and welcome to another episode of View from the Bleachers. I'm your host, Tim Jones, or perhaps I should say I'm your flight attendant because, well, today's topic is about airline travel and more specifically, how vastly different air travel is when you're flying first class versus coach. Flying first class and flying coach, well, they have two things in common. First, they both take you to the same destination at approximately the same time. And second, um, no, that's it. There is no second. They are worlds apart, as I will explain on the other side. Welcome back. I'm no newbie to airline travel. I've flown all over the world. I've flown to Europe, to China, and against my better judgment, one trip to Scranton, Pennsylvania to visit an elderly aunt. <laughs> what a disaster that was. I mean, I mean my aunt, not the flight. But in all my many years of travel, I have never flown first class. I had a boss who flew first class all the time. So recently we exchanged notes about our passenger experiences on a flight to Dallas, hers in first class versus mine in cargo. I mean coach, same difference. Here's a side-by-side -side comparison, as documented by the flight attendant announcements. I will now attempt to reenact the actual flight attendant announcements that my boss heard in first class and compare them to what I heard in coach. What you will hear is eerily close to how I remember the experiences to have happened. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen in first class, and welcome aboard Delta Airlines Flight 427 for Dallas. It'll be our pleasure to serve you this morning. You will all receive a case of Omaha steaks simply for listening to this announcement. You're going to love them. Trust me. Okay, this is uh, Delta Flight 427 bound for Dallas. Everybody listen up. If you weren't planning to fly to Dallas today, well, then you're, you're on the wrong plane. You've got 60 seconds to get the heck off. Hey, bald guy. Yeah, you in the third row, I'm talking to you. Listen to me when I'm talking, okay? As you take your seat, if you have any difficulty stowing your carry-on luggage, we'll be more than happy to assist. Oh, and sir, let me help you with your emotional support, Peacock. No trouble at all. As you take your seat, uh, ladies and gentlemen, everybody, please put your carry-on luggage in the overhead compartment or under the seat in front of you, the one that your knees are currently pressed up against. You know, anything larger than a child's backpack, quite frankly, is going to be confiscated and tossed in a pile of luggage bound for Saskatchewan, okay? Now that you're comfortably seated, please note that your seat can recline a full 180 degrees. If you do not prefer a cotton knife pillow, we're happy to provide you with a silk one. Can I interest you in a free Apple Watch? Okay, everybody, try to make yourself comfortable. I mean, really try. Good luck crossing your legs. Uh, don't bother looking for a pillow or a blanket. We needed them for the pets of the people in first class, okay? Your seats don't actually recline, and, well, sorry about that, but that's because we had to reduce the total space between the rows and coach by nine feet to make room for the first class passenger's wine-tasting chalet. So, listen, stop your whining, okay? It's already getting old, and we just took off. Come on. For breakfast, everybody, we'll be serving your choice of Eggs Benedict or custom-prepared omelet, along with Belgian waffles or cranberry streusel coffee cake. Mm-mm. And please, by all means, let me know how you'd like your latte prepared. Unless, of course, you would prefer a bottle of Dom Perignon. It's 2005. A very good year, I assure you. For breakfast, you'll have a choice between a tiny two-ounce bag of mini pretzels and... No, wait, that's all you got. We're out of my peanuts. Sorry about that. My bad. But you can purchase a fruit and cheese platter for $19.95. I'm not sure whether the fruit is still good. However, are pineapples supposed to be purple? I don't think so. We've reached our cruising altitude of 32,000 feet, so feel free to move about the cabin or just sit back, way back, and enjoy any of the 2,000 video choices available. They are, of course, all complimentary. We've reached our cruising altitude of 32,000 feet, so uh, feel free to use the restroom. Your current estimated wait time to use the restroom is 27 minutes. Your movie choices are The Bad News Bears or, oh, now this is a surprise. <laughs> you can also rent snakes on a plane. 
Uh, anyone traveling with young kids, I might suggest you go with Bad News Bears. Just, just trust me on this. Just a reminder, ladies and gentlemen, that the Casino Lounge is now open on the promenade deck. Enjoy a game of blackjack or perhaps roulette. Or if you prefer something a bit more soothing, consider dipping the hot tub in our spacious Platinum Club Spa. Perfect for couples. Do we have any couples with us today? Just a reminder, everybody, that the Casino Lounge is now open. <laughs> Oops, I forgot you're in coach, so, so don't even think about trying to gain entry. Our casino bouncer named Blade will take you down so fast, you won't know what hits you. So if you're wondering which guy is Blade, just look for the guy that looks like he can crush you with his stare. That's Blade, ladies and gentlemen. B-L-A-D-E. Blade. So just stay in your seat and read the in-flight magazine. There's an article about how twine is made that's mildly amusing. Or you can do the crossword puzzle on, uh, it's on page 86. Uh, by the way, number seven down is Sherlock Holmes. Blade, everyone. Blade. In a few moments, I'll be coming around to offer each of you a foot massage or a pedicure. In the meantime, enjoy the dessert tray of assorted Godiva chocolates and berries. Compliments of the pilot. Uh, some of you may have noticed the lovely aroma of Godiva chocolates wafting in from first glass. You can't have any, of course, but you're more than welcome to inhale the exquisite chocolate smell for just $5.95. I also have a roll of certs in my pocket, breath mints, 50 cents a mint, if you're interested. As we prepare for our descent into Dallas, if you have not yet had a chance to enjoy a hot shower, you only have a few more minutes to do so. Please return your seats to the full upright position. I'm just kidding. Feel free to remain reclined as long as you like. And please accept our small token of appreciation for flying Delta Airlines as you disembark. Your very own Calico Kitten. And yes, ma'am, it has had all its shots. As we prepare for our descent into the Dallas International Airport, please return your seats and tray tables to their upright position, unless you're in one of the nine rows that don't have tray tables. We also apologize that the air conditioning was not working during the entire flight, and oh, I was just told that your luggage may be delayed a little while. I've been informed that our baggage handler accidentally put all the coach luggage on a flight bound for Buenos Aires. That's right. Buenos Aires, buddy. I would like to personally thank you for flying with us. A chauffeur named Alfonso is waiting at baggage claim to take you to your final destination. Thank you everybody for flying with Delta. Hey, thanks for flying with us. I thought you might like to know that the lost baggage office is next to Carousel 9 in Terminal C. <laughs> Terminal C, what a dump. See what I mean? The differences between first class and coach? <laughs> I was shocked too. Well, that's the view from the bleachers. I'm Tim Jones, and if you're heading away on a trip sometime soon and you have to fly, well, you might want to ask about upgrading to first class. Either that or take my advice and take the train. <laughs>